It's Saturn time. It's also Mike Ditka time. You know, Mike Ditka, Hall of Fame tight end, Super Bowl winning head coach, guy who traded away an entire draft class for Ricky Williams. Pimp. I got one word for you, kid. Score! This is Quarterback Attack with Mike Ditka, developed by Digital Pictures, a company known for their commitment to making full motion video games. The FMV genre didn't catch on, so there weren't too many games belonging to it. Even still, Quarterback Attack is unique among them because it's the only full motion video football game. The end result is both good and bad. There is a lot to like about it, despite some issues. An FMV game needs a story, so there's a story. You play as a rookie quarterback making his first start in the place of your team's injured veteran. You were a first round pick, so Coach Ditka expects a lot from you. The opening sequence concludes and you take to the field. Gameplay goes like this. Select a run or a pass play from your playbook. There's nothing for you to do on run plays, you just watch them. Call a pass play and you have some decisions to make. The defense will line up in different formations depending on the situation. Pay close attention during your pre-snap look. If the defense is playing two safeties deep, you'll have a harder time completing a pass. If the coverage looks favorable for you, stick with a pass play. Each pass play play you call sends at least three receivers into the pattern. The fullback and or running back can enter the pattern if you call for them to do so. Each receiver is assigned a button. Upon pressing their assigned button, you zoom in on them and a cursor appears on screen. If they look open, line up the cursor and throw it. If they don't look open, press the next button and see if the next receiver is. If no one's open, make a run for it. If you do nothing, you get sacked. If you throw it poorly, the defense will intercept the pass. This all happens within a matter of seconds. It's an intense experience that takes takes place without a hiccup or hitch in the presentation. The limitations of the full motion video medium actually work to quarterback attacks advantage in one big way. Because the programmers have to build a game around video footage, they can only do so much with it. American football is a pretty complex game with 11 players per side on the field at one time, each performing a specific duty. An FMV game where you control the entire team would be a nightmare to make, and I think everyone involved in the production knew this. So their focus narrowed to the game's most important position, quarterback. As a result, this isn't a low rent Madden clone that added to a market littered with them throughout the 90s and 2000s. This is a completely different game that could exist alongside Madden in a collection without any redundancy. Most of the game's issues happen after you throw the ball. I did have a good general idea of which defensive looks would result in a completion, but they still held some uncertainty. Look at this play. My cursor is planted right over the linebacker when I I press the trigger to throw. I thought this pass would be intercepted for sure, but my teammate snagged it for the completion instead. Situations where you think you have an open man will result in interceptions more often than you'd like. This area of ambiguity could have been made less so if there was an option to throw the ball out of bounds. The closest thing to this is the scramble command, which requires you to enter pocket view in order to give the quarterback a rushing attempt. That takes a couple of button presses and a throwaway command would only be one. With it, this game is a whole a lot better. The only player you directly control is the quarterback, so you get to watch the other offense if you want. If you don't, just press a button to skip their video segments. This is a small feature, but I appreciate it. The waiting between times of possession is as minimal as it gets, giving the game a sense of flow and momentum. Another small but appreciated gameplay element is an in-depth audible system that assigns each face button on the Saturn controller its own play. You can change these to anything in the playbook from its own menu anytime you wish. You're also responsible for calling timeouts in two-minute drill situations. You can't call timeouts while under center if you don't like any plays in your audible list. This hinders the otherwise excellent simulation quarterback attack accomplishes. I like that the use of full motion video gives quarterback attack a unique focus, but every rose has its thorn or, or something, I, I don't know. Pretty much every football game gives you a long list of teams to choose from, each with their own uniform and stadium. Obviously, this doesn't apply to quarterback attack because it's bound by production restraints. Offering a choice between the red team or gold team would have doubled the amount of footage needed otherwise, so I understand why the option doesn't exist. It's a little thing that doesn't compromise the overall experience, but one that does subtract from its replay potential. My favorite thing about quarterback attack is the execution of its video sequences and sound design. The tackles, catches, jukes, and runs all look authentic to the real thing, comparable to an old NFL film's highlight reel. It also 
sounds comparable as well, with the loud snapping of pads, punching through your speakers, driving home the point of just how violent football can be. I don't know how well it holds up in comparison to the version I played here, but Quarterback Attack was released on the Google Play Store sometime last year. I can't recommend that version because I never played it. I don't know how well the controls translate to mobile devices, but it's a fine game on the Sega Saturn. Recommended if you like full motion video games, recommended even more if you also like sports games. You're a loser!